Hello and welcome to Oracle Business Hack series. Today we're going to talk about form operations. I've been developing forms for the past 16 years. I, I never tried the form operations and I was really surprised when a user showed me how to use the form operations which she had been using for the last, probably she used the system for six months and she was able to figure this out. Uh, then I thought, you know, it's, it's a great topic for us to share. So the these are the operations, these are the tricks that, that she has been using. One is uh, querying the form using operators, hash querying, and you can get the count of uh, records using the F12. I think we already know that. Um, our normal process is we, we press F11, we enter our search criteria, then we press Control F11. So before I get into the query operations, let me take a look. At, let's see how we normally do a search in form. So here I'm in AR transaction screen. Um, we can enter query by example, enter. We enter our search criteria. I can always put more, uh, more filters on it that we normally do. So I get the result. So let's now look at the form operations and, and, and try to see what else we can do on this. So from a query mode, you can do pretty much um, greater than, equal, less than or equal. You can also do the between, hash between. You can do hash in, hash ease. Um, let's, do, let's, uh, let's do some example and just figure it out. So I'm back in our favorite uh, search screen. So I'm going to start with the greater than. So we're going to say greater than 01 Jan 2017. So sometimes the field doesn't allow you to have more space, so you're limited with the operations. So let me finish. Have you noticed that I put a greater than? Let's see what what will be the result. So you can see that. Um, I'm getting 2018, 2018. So let me go ahead and change it to less than and see what we get. So I'm going to change it to less than. And unfortunately, my system crashed. So I'm going to start over again. So uh, we can try the greater than and we can try the less than in your system. So let me go ahead and uh, do the hash coding. So let me go ahead and uh, do a between. I'm looking for all the invoices that were created between uh, January of 2016 and um, January of 2017. Um, so let me go ahead and run uh, Control F11. So you can see at this time that uh, uh, we can see uh, all the data is within that uh, date range. Um, so let me go ahead and uh, do another example for in. So let's say I want to search for um, customer numbers with 100103 and uh, 1004. And because it's an invoice, we may have to enter a date. So I'm going to enter a date which is greater than 01 Jan, let's say 15. So let's go ahead and query this. So here is the, here are the results. So I can go down or up. I can see that uh, the uh, the customers are limited to one zero three, and the date is uh, uh, you know between uh, two thousand twenty. So let's try the same with uh, with the amount. So I'm going to go to the receipt to get the amount. So let me go to the receipt. So I'm in the receipt screen. Let's go ahead and search for all the receipts created after the 1st of January. Seventeen. So it'll give you the the transaction that were created. Let's go ahead and add uh, amount less than hundred or less than fifty. You can say less than fifty. And the receipt date should be greater than 01 Jan 17. So let's see how many records we get. We didn't see any. Oh, that's why. 
greater than zero one I zero one Jan zero one Jan seventeen. Go ahead and run it. Again, the operations are limited to the space that's available. So I'm going to try 01 Jan 17, and amount is less than 50. So let me go ahead and run this. So you can see that the the, the you know you can see the amounts are less than um, 50 dollars. Let's try the same in the reverse way. So I'm going to say greater than 50 and it is greater than uh, greater than 0 1 Jan 17 so let's see what results we get for this so you can see that uh, we're getting uh, records that are unique for that um, again uh, the search will be limited within the within the space within the space available for the um, uh, for this for, you know within the search fields available so let's go ahead and try one more thing i'm going to say uh, pound in okay so i'm going to search for customers in one zero zero three Zero zero four, and uh, amount is greater than an amount is greater. So if you notice that if there is any error, it is going to complain. So let's go ahead and add the amount uh, less than. less than 50 we may also have to put a date uh, so let me go ahead let me try to run and see what happens so in our query we said less than 50 and for those two specific customers so you can see that result uh, is executed so let's look at how the uh, what kind of uh, let's look at the executed query behind it so let's go to help uh, diagnostics examine let's go and search for system and look for the last query so you can see that the query would reflect the would reflect the same um, so yeah you can so let's go ahead and try another um, another function I'm going to try is null so let's go to comments and look for any comments that are null so i'm going to count good comments i'm going to say is null so i can scroll f11 so it needs a date i'm going to put the date up here so i'm going to say greater than 0, 01 jan 17 So I'm going to put a so we can see the null. So I'm going to put a space in here in the comments, so we can see how. So I have the uh, so I'm looking for all the comments that are null that are not null, and we'll count and after the receipt date of uh, greater than 2017 is not null, and the receipt date should be. So I'm looking for all the comments that are not null and has a receipt date greater than 2000, January 1st, 2017. So let me execute this query. So we're going to see, um, how, let's see, let's see how many records are. We can press Control F, we can just press the F, F12. It'll give you the, uh, uh, the number. Give me one second to try. So let's go ahead and try. And press F12 so it'll give you the uh, number of records that are retrieved so I hope you have enjoyed this hack thank you uh, see you soon with uh, more hacks thank you